Introducing first, fight on the red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weight at fight time at 164.4 pounds. He has an amateur kickboxing record of two wins with just one defeat. Fighting out of San Bernardino, California, representing yeah, raw classic talent fighting, right there, X-Fit, and raw talent boxing. Well, they also this have the squirrel standing there, too. Yeah, the squirrel came out of nowhere. And he's everywhere. He's everywhere, guys. Yeah, man, it's, it's that orange county love, man. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall, weighed up by time at 162.4 pounds. He has an undefeated amateur kickboxing record. Three wins, no losses, and one draw. Fighting out of Fontana, California. So it is that karate discipline. This is Michael Sugarball. He let him know it's war. He took it back to the kata, the fighting form. Oh, man, enter the kumite, Michael Claycomb. Now, it's an interesting stylistic right, matchup. I mean, we have Tyrambo's gym, all times. very, up, have very elusive team. moves, and then we have Clayton, a traditional karate guy that's got very unorthodox moves. And so, man, I, I'm, so, I'm interested to see how this is going to go. <laughs> Me too. I can't call this one because I know both these kids like little bros, man. But I tell you, I'm excited because one of them is putting it all out there. Oh. Claycomb throwing that straight Clay punch. Claycomb coming straight in. Inside leg kick yeah. from Rivera. Those low down. karate hands yeah. might have to tighten them up. Yeah. Yeah, Rivera's putting too much pressure. Oh, a head him. kick. He has to lift his hands up. Nice. Overhand. Gonna show Roll the slip. Yeah, he slipped, but it was uh, uh, beating the cross with a looping punch. On the outside. That was both of them going wild right there. Look at these boys. Rivera's boxing is uh, is doing the money for him. He's slowing Claycomb. Claycomb's got to get those hands up. Yeah, he has to. Difference with uh, you know when you got a when you got a boxing coach that actually boxes, you know they actually know how to implement the punches correctly, especially if you're going to be transitioning such a cool style like karate. You got to have proper boxing. claycomb has got five seconds just to stay alive. Up. Yeah, see, eats a head kick and then look. Let's look. see if he can hang in there. And his defense is too stiff. You have to have a moving defense. I like it, but I hate it because I know both these guys. And I know violence has to occur with both these young studs, but uh, it's those little tweaks, man. I, I tell you, uh, Mr. Huey, of, um, without going into too much detail, uh, there's boxing, and then there's boxing. Yes. You know, there's, um, I've been around it, but I've been in 12 round or 10 round wars. And so the movement, the mechanics, the understanding of the movement is gonna be different by the person articulating them if they had the experience of the wars, the losses, the wins, rather than the implementation of, I've been in the gym doing it for a long time. You right. Know? Um, boxing like Muay Thai, you know, it's one of those things that a lot of guys take advantage of because uh, <laughs> they can get away with being in the gym with it uh, or, or not having traceable data. But it comes out in these fights, man. Yep, it's a truth teller in the ring here. Yeah, and that's the truth room. And in our... Referee Mark Reyes is going to send him to a neutral corner. Our doctor Gary Furness is going to yeah, check he, out, he see Michael Claycomb is okay, and I believe he definitely is. Yeah, man. And Rivera's doing what he's supposed to, staying calm, keeping his composure, catching his breath, 
Maybe he shouldn't be looking at the women so much. Maybe his coaches. <laughs> no. Yeah, I oh. knew it. I knew it. He was too shook, man. The, the falling, the stiffness of the neck. His eyes were glazed a little bit. Uh, it's smart they did that so they didn't, uh, that kid get hurt, you know? That's smart, man. That's a good call. A horrible call because these guys are monsters, but yeah, man. Good job, David. Shutting the show out at, in the middle of rounds. Definitely. Good showmanship. You, you don't, we're not the doctor. We're not there looking straight into the fighter's eyes. And right. Fighter safety is number one, and I'm sure these two will meet again. Like, look at this. Watch. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Look at right there, he's in survival mode. He's just doing he's just doing everything he can, man, and it's smart. I like how we started moving, trying to move, but look, man, it, he's not seeing the shots as they come. His hands are too low on the defensive end. See, that rear hand was at his nipple. Yeah. Like, like Chewie had uh, Davis' hands high in those exchanges. You know what I mean? Like, look at the difference in posture of hands here. Look at the hands. It was a good stop because it could have went worse and it's not worth it in amateurs you know right give right your, give your brain a chance to develop some more baby you're 22 it's all right no shame in that performance clay cole man you came out and did everything you were told man. and you very just came with a sharper game plan it, it boiled down in my opinion to that boxing that boxing and the uh, savagery of the strikes And Cody Sessions is back there, man. That boy's a good luck chopper. That <laughs> man is nuts, and that's why he is the <laughs> squirrel, squirrel of Muay Thai. Plus, he's got the best hair of all the coaches. He does here. have the best hair. Rivera comes in with a close second. <laughs> but Cody's killing him on hair. You know, I really don't like that stoppage for Mike, man, for Clay Combs. I know he's a hardworking kid, and uh, I know he would like to go out there on his shield, but... I'm glad that they're they're more uh, we're more concerned with his safety than yeah, his ego. You know, his safety because I I love seeing that guy in here, man. I love seeing him move. But Rivera, he did his thing, man. Good job, Dave. Proud of that kid too. Really proud of him. Made a lot of changes for his camp. And that's what a dream looks like, ladies and gentlemen. This kid said he was going to be champion this year. And that's how you make dreams come true, man. One man's dream is another man's nightmare, though. That's the way the sport works. And Ooh. so the middleweight title goes to Mr. Sinister, David Mr. Sinister. Rivera. Congratulations on a well-fought. And welcome to the championship club, man. It took you long enough. Man, I've known this kid for a couple years now. <laughs> And those of you guys don't know, standing out there is our promoter, matchmaker, president of Fighters Rep, George Francis, putting fights like this together and for your entertainment and for the sport of kickboxing. And you know for his blazer, he actually had to sew two blazers together. He's <laughs> <laughs> a tall, large man. I didn't say that, George. I still want my paycheck. <laughs> I still want my paycheck. I want mine, too. <laughs> yeah, you said color commentary, man. That thing, that thing looking like my curves, baby. You got to talk about that. Let's take a look. Walk us through it, brother. Just look at it. Oh, my God. It's, this is where I'm talking about the eyes. You see? In camp, it's one of our... It's like he's a second off his vision yeah. from his reaction. Yeah. It's smart that they stop it because of us. Right here. You see? Hey. Hits him with the left. It's raw Italian boxing right there. Look at baby. his reaction to there being you talked go. to. He's like a. All right. David Rivera, he's every like time that you step into the ring, you make it look so smooth and easy. How'd you feel going into this fight? I feel fucking great. This was probably the best camp I had thus far. I want to give a big shout out to my team, my coaches, all my uh, training partners. So, raw Italian boxing, my coach, Chuy Gutierrez. Tyler Wombos from Classic Fight Team. At Expo, we got Jamie Fletcher and Rodney Hickerson. He helps me out with all my weight cuts. And my teammate right here, Jeffrey Cray, and Mr. Cody Sessions. Now, I know that we've talked about this before, that your goal here in Fighters Rap was to walk away with the gold. Now, as they like to say, to really prove yourself as champion is to defend the title. What does the future hold for David Rivera, the champion here at Fighters Rap? 
I mean, dog, honestly, it's so hard for me to get fights. I got some gold now, so hopefully these fucking pussies want to fight. And if, you know what? You got a belt, I want that shit. Uh, 155, 160, I got 165, 170, 175, 80, 85, I don't care, let's go. There you go, multiple title champion, David Rivera. Doesn't have a bad ring to it, does it? <laughs> And do you have anything else you want to say to your fans and friends here at Fighters Rap? Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to everyone. Really proud of that guy, out. man. I'm over here like an old brown collar. If you couldn't make it, still, I fuck with you. I love you. Ah. <laughs> and thank you very much, as always, Mr. Sinister David Rivera. It is a pleasure. Congratulations again, your new amateur Fighters Rap middleweight champion. Hey, I'll say it again. Rivera. Hey, good job, David Rivera.